Creative Birdies. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing good. Uh, you might have seen me earlier unboxing Happy Mail. Creative Birdie Mail from from the UK, from, from Pop. And I'm at it again. So this mail I had for about three days now. And I opened it. I opened it off camera. I'm sorry, but I'm here to share with you guys what I got. And this is from Karen. Karen, uh... Karen Ancho, I think it's her name. Look how cute though. Look how cute. She sent me this letter. And I don't have permission to read the letter uh, to you guys. But I'm just going to check for the name. And I'm, I think it is Karen Anchon. Anchondo. My goodness. Karen A. She knows who she is. She knows exactly who she is. And the letter was very, very, very sweet. And I'm going to go through it. But I'm going to put the box up here so I can pull these things out. I'm not going to show the box because I don't have permission to show the box either. So I'll keep that to the side. But my whole room smells stinking amazing. <laughs> Who puts stinking and amazing together? I do. It smells so good. Um, there's various fragrance, fragrance oils. They're all cosmetic, which means you, you can use them in body products such as soap, salt, sugar, scrubs, and lotions. I'm excited for that. I have really never have dipped into something like that, but have always wanted to learn how to do something like that. And I'm sure I can either take directions from Karen if she has time. I'm sure she's busy. But I also know that I can watch many YouTube videos But um, here on YouTube. But there are right ways of doing it and wrong ways of doing it. And maybe you, Karen, if you're watching today, um, or if you're watching this later on someday, maybe if you have a second, I know you're a very busy lady, Oh, she's also an artist. Wow. <laughs> I love, love, love having artist friends. I think it's amazing to share inspiration with each other. But, um, uh, Karen, if you can point me maybe in the right direction of the proper way to do it from maybe a video or a few videos that you've seen on YouTube um, of women or men that, that are doing it the correct way, I would like to do it the correct way. Um, and I know these these oils are not cheap. That's probably the main reason I never got into it or even tried to dip my feet into it. But I'm grateful that Karen is sharing. This is a hobby she has done in the past. So I'm very, very, very grateful that she reached out to me and wanted to share her products with me. These are her this is her personal collection that she sent to me that she purchased from who knows where, I don't know yet. I haven't searched or looked at the bottles exactly. I've pulled out a few and smelt them, and then she individually wrapped them. I don't mind if this um, piece of fabric gets any oil on it. That That's perfectly fine with me. That's why I brought this out. I'm even okay for it to get on here, but I know that my cat Honey has been on here, and I don't want any of the cat hairs to get on the oils. And the oils, my husband built me a, an extra shelf so that I can put my oils, all the oils lined up on a shelf on my wall, which was very sweet of my husband to do. Um, so I've been with my husband 21 years, and he knows my passion, and he knows how, and he's seen how excited I got when I got the oils, because I did open them in the living room with um, my husband and my daughter in the living room. So... They know my passion, so he was nice enough to build me an extra shelf. Alrighty, so let me continue reading. Um, and I also made, you can make candles. You can find numerous recipes on the internet to make any of the above. Yes. Uh, I hope you try your hand at this craft. It can be very fun, I imagine so. I've always imagined so. I wanted you to have these, as I believe you would appreciate the challenge to make. 
use them. Mm -hmm. I do understand the possibilities of them. I think it's amazing. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, thank you so much. If ever, Karen, you just want to send me a letter, I, I would be open to sending letters back and forth. That, that's nice. Very nice. So, we have quite a few. And they're all individually wrapped. We have a citrus basil fragrance oil. Okay, so yeah, there is a company here. HortonLane.com Look at how she wrapped them. Individually, she obviously has a great... Um, a good spot in her heart for her oils and I could imagine so. I feel the same way with my art. I feel the same way with everything that I have in my personal collection. So Karen, you sent these to me and I'm going to care for them. I'm going to play with them and I'm going to learn. As a matter of fact, if you guys watched my video on making the boho let me move my keyboard. If you guys watched my video on making my boho um, clothespins, I mentioned that I wanted to put a dab of oil in between these so that it can smell good. And then days later, you know I believe in putting things in the universe. Days later, I got these oils from Karen. Now, Karen had mentioned to me a while back, I'm even going to keep that. As a matter of fact, I'm going to rub it into my fabric. Yes. Had me Karen had mentioned to me a while back, when she first introduced herself to me um, by email, she wanted to send me these oils, and I was all about it. But her and I both understood that it was going to take some time to package them. This is why she took lots of care into packaging, um, packaging. She took lots of care in packaging them up for me. That's that just true love there for her oils. Citrus basil. I'm gonna smell this. Very, 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 very nice fragrance. So there's that one. Juniper tree, oil, sunflower. I'm, I'm sure she's collected these from all over the place. It is juniper tree, I'm assuming maybe dot com. Mm, there's no website here. But it is a sunflower, which from my understanding, because I have made oils for my dogs to keep fleas off of them, from my understanding, but correct me if I'm wrong, sunflower is a carrier oil. And I know that because I've used um, grapeseed oil as a carrier oil to be the balance and the carrier, basically to carry the oil and to, well, from my understanding, I could be wrong, so that the oil is not so strong. So. I'm assuming this is sunflower and I can use this as a carrier, but I will learn as I go for sure. It smells like sunflower. I'm going to put that back on. Actually, that can go in the top. I'm going to be nice and oily. And I will completely unwrap it off camera. I'm not sure if I'm going to unwrap every single one on camera. I don't want you guys to sit here with me forever. This is from the same company as the first one and this is ginger lime fragrance. But what I do want to do is smell them. That's for a fact. Let's see. Let's get... Let's try to speed this up a little. And be very careful. I don't want to puncture the the bottle. So 
that's fun. That's This is going to be fun, and that's fun that she sent me sunflower, because if I'm correct, I can use that as a carrier oil. I will be investing lots of time in watching videos, but if you guys have the correct video for me to watch, or the proper teacher for me to watch, that would be amazing. Because there are lots of people out there that do do oils and all of that. But like I mentioned, I want to do it the right way. I need to always remember to move those scissors. This was ginger lime. That's really pretty smell. I love to eat ginger. Ginger candies are my favorite candies. And I'm just randomly pulling blackberry sage. Ooh, tea fragrance oil. It's from the same company. I'm hoping I can just cut the top off so that we, I can come up here with a quicker way to just open the top up and then unwrap them later, just so that I can smell them. I'm trying to be, and I am being very careful. I'm going to cherish these oils. I would be, I would be very interested in knowing, Karen, how long you had these oils. Oh my gosh. I want that in my car. Oh, I want this smell in my car, so that means I need to make something to sit in my car, because that is a wonderful smell. Blackberry sage tea fragrance oil. It's a beautiful amber color also. reach into the magic box, which I think I'll put back down on the floor. Yeah. And reach in here and pull this out. Ooh, this one's nice and dark. This one here is Lily of the Valley. Concentrated four ounce cosmetic grade. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Ooh, I'm excited. It smells like Lily of the Valley. Very, very, very fragrant. Very beautiful smell. Now I understand that they are a very potent smell right out of the bottles. <gasps> you know what I want to do? Oh, I want to make, um, what are those called? Incense. Oh my gosh. I'm assuming I can make incense with these kind of oils. My first to-go thought in my mind is to make um, a smell that goes in my car, basically... Uh, maybe some on a piece of clay, I'm thinking, or a piece of felt, maybe. I don't know. This one is, <laughs> this one is lick me all over. Oh, this is going to be interesting. I've never smelt anything that says lick me all over. Oh, I could smell it from here. This is a beautiful smell. Very nice smell. It's cosmetic grade concentrate. That's a nice smell. Yes, I'd, I'd lick your cheek. You had that on. <laughs> oh, I'm so blessed. I feel so, so special receiving all of these gifts. It's so nice. I have sent um, Karen a thank you package of my feathers and some art and some drop paper. This is forbidden fruit. Ooh. I'm 
very lucky. It's a, um, I don't know if it's luck. I think it's, it's, it's the universe, is what I think it is, is what I believe it is. That's different. That you would have to use, it's good, it's a good smell, don't get me wrong, but you would have to use very little. It is a forbidden fruit, for sure. Probably mix it with something else. I don't know yet um, what I would like mixed with what, but that's what I have. I do have um, droppers, and I can test them out and see the mixes that I like. Or just use um, them directly. <gasps> Look at the color of this one. So yes, I was saying, I think that it's the universe puts people together. I really do believe that. Neroli. I've never heard of Neroli. Ooh. I don't know if we'll be able to get that open. Let's try. No. Something rubbery. No. No. I don't have anything rubbery. Oh, yes, I do. I do, I do, I do. I'm, I'm going to open it off camera. Just so I can bring it closer to me. Oh, got it. Got it. Neroli. Oh, that smells so good. Very, very nice. It is... I don't know what it says right there. Something with love. From nature's... From nature with love. These are nice. <laughs> Snow Drift Farms, Velvet, Tube Rose, oh, is that glass? Yes. Also, um, Karen, or anybody, would it be smart of me to put these into, um, to replace these, obviously with the labels, new labels, or the original labels? Oh, this one's not even open. Um, to place these into containers or glass specimens, I think you call them. I have these. I have lots and lots of these. Uh, I even have some that are completely black. I'll show you in a second. read the label. That's why I'm taking the time to open this one here with you guys. This is, wow. I have vials. I have dark ones like this and I have uh, black ones and they have droppers on them and I think I have some green ones. Would it be smart if I took the ginger line got that label or put a new label in, transferred it to a glass vial. So this is from Snowdrift Farm, Velvet um, Tube Rose, Bath and Body Works type, fragrance oil, cold press, safe for extreme use only. And then there's a de uh, the degrees there. Oh, I'm excited to smell this one. Oh, that's nice. Oh, 
that's beautiful. That's my second favorite. Mmm. That does smell velvety rose, like a rose velvet. That is beautiful smell. Nice. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have the best smelling room in the neighborhood. Or house, actually. My house, the whole house. My car, me. Oh yeah. This one here is black coconut. Love, love, love coconut. I'm holding tight. I do not want to spill these. It's precious here. I like that. I like that a lot. I like th I like them all. This is my third favorite. Mm-hmm. Black coconut. Love that. Fig tree and cucumber. I'm not biased to any smells. I love most smells. Well, I said I'm not biased to any smells, and then I said I love most smells, so that doesn't make sense. I'm pretty much easily satisfied when it comes to smells, but not perfumes. Just like these kind of smells. I like them all. Alright, this one's going to be a little challenging. I'm going to go off camera and open it here. Oh, got it. Good, 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 good. That's very different. It's fig and cucumber. Very different. Never smelt nothing like that. Very different. And we have two more. So, I'm glad they got here safe, Karen. They got here all in one. Nothing leaked. You packed them so well. They're precious to you. They're going to be precious to me. They are precious to me. This one here, I should have read it first, is Island Mango. Ooh, Island Mango. YC type. I'm going to have to look that up. Oh, I like that. That's my fourth favorite. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. And then this one here. Lilac fra fragrance oil. I think they would look beautiful if I put them all on um, some vials, some glass vials. Not vials, sorry, glass bottles. smells really good too. What was that? Lila lilac. Oh, very nice. Oh, that one came out really nice. Alrighty, guys. So we have them all right there. And they're all my new babies. I'm not going to hoard them. I'm going to use them. I'm going to play. I'm going to make. I'm going to learn. And I'm going to love these for a very long time. I'm sure they're going to last me a very long time. Thank you Karen for share Karen for sharing your love and your passion that you have and had and probably still have for all these oils and that you took them out of your collection to share with me. Very very I promise you. I'm very 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 appreciative. Very appreciative. And I do have uh, lots of uh, droppers and I have glass ones and plastic ones. 
and I do help let me know somebody, Karen, especially if I should transfer all of them into glass bottles like that. One, they would look appetizing, and two, I think that um, they'll keep it, it'll keep the oil safe from the sun and stuff like that. I love every single one. The only one I'm like, mm, is probably the fig. I've never smelt nothing so unique like this fig. Will I not use it? I'm not too sure. Maybe it'll mix well with something else. I'm not too sure. But, like I said, I'll, I'm going to play with it. And I'm going to mix it with other things to see if, 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 um, if it mixes well with other uh, oils. But yes, I love this. And thank you so very much for those who have taken the time to watch me. I wish you guys had smell-a-vision or smell-a-internet. I don't know. <laughs> I'm being silly now. I'm over the moon. I am very, very, very grateful. Thank you, Karen, and thank you those to, that sat and watched me open all of these bottles. But what really, really matters to me is that Karen watches this and and can get I can get across to her that I really appreciate her taking the time out of her day to send these to me, to think of me, to feel feelings towards me and to pick me out of so many people she could have picked to send her collection that I'm sure she she adores and wow thank you so very much thank you thank you thank you and again Karen if you want to send me letters you can send me letters and I'll send you letters back if you're interested mm, communication between very creative people is amazing and thanks, you guys. And I actually have to go use the restroom. And um, thanks. Thank you so very much. I'm actually going to grab all of these and rub them into my fabrics. <laughs> Not one drop is going to go to waste. Okay, creative birdies. Thanks for joining me. Thank you, Karen, again. And sending you guys lots of positive love and energy. Bye.